Look, I think um, my journey in Germany so far has been quite an incredible story, you know, and one that I want to keep adding to, you know, and I think um, what I did in my first year was um, was very good, and but now I'm in this place where I can build on that and develop and, and become a better football player, you know. Um, you know, at Bayern, I was I was looked after very well, and um, you know, I think it was important for me to get um, game time at a very high level. You know, and um, you know, it was important not just to go anywhere, but to a club that wants to try and play football and and tries to um, fit the way I like to play the game. You know, um, that was very important in my in in my decision making and and how I came here you know but as soon as I come here um you know I've been well looked after and um you know I'm loving every single minute of it you know and um so far it's it's been it's been an incredible journey and um yeah like I said I just want to keep going on with it um you never know how far you can go in the game you know it's just important to work hard every single day and um you know just focus on the next game and, and not look too far ahead and um I think everything will be fine yeah look I think um in the in the second division, it's a very um, competitive league. You know, I think everyone can beat everyone on any given day. So I think um, it's important that the, the way most teams play in this um, second division is very physical and very intense. And um, you know that they they love to get on the second balls and and get into battle and things like that. You know, and I think. It's definitely important that we do that as well, but I think um, we have the quality to try and play football and um, I think we have a lot of good players and um, so I think it's it's very important that, yes, we have to do that side of the game as well, but I think you have to let the football take over and get it down and play, um, which is very important and, um, you know, I think um, in training we've been doing we've been doing everything the coach wants us to do and how he wants us to play, um, so it's important we... Um, we translate that onto the pitch now, and um, yeah, I think it's um, d well. If you compare it to New Zealand or in Australia, I think it's um, in German football. It's very, um, very intense and very, very aggressive, you know. And um, at the same time, lots of quality. You know, I was at Bayern with the first team and the second team last year, and um, you know, you just learn a lot from these players every single day. So. Now I'm in a position where I have to take the next step in my career and um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, look, I think, um, like you said, Bayern won everything, so everyone in the squad is, um, is, I guess, arguably like up there and the best in the world individually, but collectively they are. So, you know, for me it was a very good learning experience in my first year to be able to learn from the best players because ultimately that's where I want to get to, you know. and. You know, I know it's 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 a process. It's something that doesn't happen overnight, and you have to keep working and keep working hard. You know, these things may take time, but um, yeah. Look, uh, it was it was important for me to make the next step. You know, I think um, yeah, it's nice being there amongst all the players, but if you're going to get limited game time, um, it's it's not something you want to do because as a player, you want to play, and um, you know, the coaches and everyone agreed that this is the next this is the right next step for me. It was important that I just don't go anywhere that I'm that I'm under Bayern's watch and you know it's literally one hour drive from here so whenever I need or whenever they want to see me or talk to me they can. So yeah, I want to I want to I came here to play and, and be the best player I can possibly be and, and improve areas of my game so that I can go back to Bayern being a better player. So that that's that's my task and um you know I just take it week by week and and game by game and um just try and do my best for myself and for this team yeah so um both my parents were born in Punjab um I was born in New Zealand in Auckland um yeah, I've I've been a couple times when I was younger and um I went um a few years back for some football to India as well and um it's a beautiful place and and it's a place I really want to visit in the coming years when I have some time off and time free. Um, so yeah, but I, you know, I grew up in a typical Punjabi family, um, you know, everyone, my relatives and close family were, were all together and, you know, we, yeah, I guess we live like any other Punjabi person does, you know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my lifestyle growing up. Um, even though I was raised in New Zealand, we still, we still lived like, um, like a Punjabi family, so yeah. Yeah, look, I'm one of my good friends and I guess like a mentor when I was in Wellington was um, Roy Krishna, which I think all of you will probably know. 
Um, he's obviously um, doing very well in, in India at the moment, so I keep in contact with him a lot. Um, I also played for New Zealand against India, I think, um, a few years ago, which is a very, um, very good game. And I think from what I hear and what I see, it's, it's improving a lot, you know. Um, the facilities and the resources are getting better and better by the year. And obviously, the, it's called the ISL, I think. Um, the Super League is, um, is improving as well. So I think it, it's in a very good space. And I, and I hope that people continue to back it and, and support it. And, and it'll, it'll keep improving, you know. And um, yeah, who knows in the future, maybe one day down the line, I could, I could be there. So. Yeah, no, I, from what I've heard, it's a very good um, competition. And for me, it's very important and, and it makes me proud to see the game growing in India. Um, I think it's very special. There's a, there's a lot of talented players that are there. And, you know, sometimes they just need a platform or an opportunity to, to take their game to the next level. And I think even from New Zealand, it's the same. You know, I, I got given an um, opportunity, then it was down to me to take it, you know. Um, so for everyone that's there, I think it's it's important that you you never give up on your dreams, you know, and you just keep fighting and and keep trying to improve and have fun at the same time, you know. Football's a beautiful game, so I think it's important everyone always plays with a smile on their face. And um, you know, I hope I can I can see more players coming out of India um, playing at high levels. Yeah. yeah, look in German, I I have a very good teacher from Bayern. Um, you know, when I first come here, they they teach me, I guess how to say who I am. I think that's very important. When you're new to a country, you have to learn how to introduce yourself to people. Um, you know, I think in Germany, it's very important to learn the language. And I think um, in one year, I've done fairly, fairly good. So I, I can understand it and also can speak it also. So um, for me, um, it's very good, but it's something I must cont continue to do because it's not an easy language. Um, you know, it can be very difficult at times, but um, yeah, when I first come here, I, I have lessons with my German teacher, you know, um, first first weeks was um, four or five times a week, you know, and it was very full on, but um, you know, the, the longer you start to learn it, the, the slower you can you can do less, you know, because you, if you've learned the basics and, and the things you need to get on with day-to-day -day life, but I think um, when you're at Bayern and even here in Nuremberg, I think it's important. It's um, when you're in Germany, you speak German, you know. So I try and um, I try and do that as much as possible. I was a bit surprised, you know. I think um, it was a bit surreal, you know. I had a good under-20 World Cup, and then I was actually on holiday with my friends in Australia, and um, my agent gave me the phone call, and um, he goes to me that um, Bayern are interested in you, and you know, I didn't. In a way, I didn't really believe it, you know, but, um, you know, as soon as that happened, um, you know, I think you're never going to say no to Bayern, are you? So um, for me, it was a dream come true. Um, you know, as soon as I got the phone call, I was I was extremely happy. And then, you know, I was, I was actually on holiday, but from that moment onwards, I was making sure I was focused, you know. Because um, normally, when you're in, if I was going to go back to Wellington, you have a longer pre-season, so I had time to get my body up to scratch, you know, but then... When Bayern came calling, um, you know, I, I took all my friends for a run. You know, I said we have to start working now. No, the holidays cut short. So, um, yeah, we were in Australia at the time, and then you know we started working there. And um, yeah, it was, it was an extremely proud moment for my family. You know, it's uh, like I said for me, and I think any kid growing up, it's you want to play with the best players and in the best teams in the world. So to be able to do that for me was it's truly amazing and. Um, you know, now I've had a taste of it and, and how it feels like to be there and play there. Um, but I know I have a long way to go if I want to, to play there consistently and, and week in, week out, you know. So, um, you know, I know what I have to do and that's what I'm just focused on the job now. At first it was, it was a dream come true, you know, but now I realise that, that it's possible and it's possible for anyone. You just have to put your mind to it and, um, you know, the players that get there, they... they it's not by coincidence that they're there, you know, they work hard and they, you know, they, they look to improve every single day and, and learn as well, you know, um, so that for me it's about, um, I'm here now and um, it's, it's about taking the next step in my career. It's amazing, it's truly special, you know, um, 
I guess it's a little bit funny because yeah, like I, I have a very big um, um, Indian background, and then I was playing for New Zealand, you know. So playing against India was was truly something amazing and something I hold on to forever, you know. And the fans, I, you know, I love the fans in India. I think they're, you know, they're so they're so crazy. They support the game with a huge amount of passion, you know. And I think, yeah, passion and sport is is obviously what you need. But um, you know, I think um, yeah, Indian fans in general are, are special people, you know. Especially when you watch cricket as well. Like these fans are crazy, you know. They they support their team with everything they have. And um, you know, when we played against India. Um, it was the same, um, you know. You could feel, you could feel the stadium. You could feel the atmosphere inside the stadium. So, yeah, I mean, it was truly amazing. Um, I was just so blessed to be able to play in a game like that. Yeah, look, I think it was a very um, well thought out plan, and um, what was the best for me at the time, you know. I think I did very well in my first season um, when I played with the second team. I I did really good, so it was important that I take another step up, and I. Um, to play in the first team is not easy, so to get consistent game time in the first team is not easy. So it was important that I got a move, but it just wasn't any move, you know. It was a move where I can I can improve my game and take the next step to in order to go back a better player and then fight for a spot ultimately there, you know. I think to be a Bayern player you have to you have to prove yourself and you have to be the best, you know. Um that's Bayern, they're the best team in the world, so you know, we, we talked a lot about where it was good for me to, to be able to take the next step and we, um, we all felt that this was the right, the right move. Um, you know, now it's down to performance ultimately, to, to, to perform and, and win games and, and play my best, you know, and then, you know, then, then I hope I can go back and, and fight for a spot. Yeah, very good. Um, you know, he's very... He, he likes to, to get into detail and do a lot of video and analysing and, you know, he's very clear in the way he wants the team to play, you know, I think um, there's no questions around how he wants us to play and the ideas he wants to bring into us and I think it's important we start to show it because I, I think in the first game it, it wasn't quite there but I think it, it's, it's normal when you play the first game of the league, everyone's... Um, I guess like really really up for it you know and, and very nervous at the same time so you don't want to make any mistakes and things like that but I think you know after all that when you win like we have to fight you know but when we win the ball we have to get it down and play and be calm with the ball so I think um, but the trainer tells us all these things and we, we train all these things as well so I think um, in the coming weeks um, it'll be a different game for sure but um, you know for me as a player um, yeah, the way the coach wants to play really suits me, so um, we just have to keep going and I think results and performances will come.